Today's video is just going to be nice and simple. Um, basically, I ride kind of two different types of mountain biking. So I do what I call cross country, which is probably more classed as like enduro riding, and also ride downhill. So what I'm going to do is just talk you through like the gear I use, like the clothing, um, and like the reason or the reasons I chose it. A lot of the reasons behind me choosing what it is that I use is as soon as it's on, I kind of forget it's there and that's important for me. So it has to be like super comfortable and it has to like not be in like the back of my mind that I'm wearing it because if I become aware of it, then I'm concentrating less on riding. If I'm concentrating less on riding, there's more of a chance like mistakes can happen. So I just need to be super relaxed and super comfortable in all the equipment. So everything I got was done around comfort and protection obviously but you know so enduro first so if we start off at the bottom and then work up so firstly five tens pretty standard mountain bike shoe um what i found was the soles came off started to peel away so i just gorilla super glued them back together and they've held up so far obviously one of the key contact points on the bike and i don't use clips at all I ride um, ride flats so it's important to me that when I'm on the pedal I've got the grip that I need and the grip that I want so basically the soles in these things are unbeatable as far as I'm concerned by other by other mountain bike shoes um, super soft super grippy allows good foot placement on the pedals um, I've had other shoes just I was still moving around on the pedals so I like to be just as soon as I put my feet on the pedals just planted in that place um, but also with the flexibility of being able to take them off as and when it's not very nice going over a jump or a drop and slipping a pedal so that's why I chose those knee pads I don't always wear knee pads if I'm going on a ride to somewhere that I'm comfortable with and I've been several times I'll probably not wear knee pads if I'm going on a ride to somewhere that I haven't been before or I don't know particularly well, I'll probably wear the knee pads. Um, just a just a personal preference, really, to be honest. So the knee pads I wear when I'm riding sort of longer distances are six six ones, and they've got D three O compound in, which basically means it's nice and flexible when they're just being normal. But if you take an impact. The material solidifies on impact as well so it's also like quite high quite quite a high level of protection so like i said comfort's the most important thing to me really flexible should i have an impact they do the job i haven't actually fell off and banged my knees while wearing these so basically they're both totally immaculate and because i'm mostly about comfort then basically i'll only really wear them when i'm not going where i'm going to somewhere that I don't know very well um, or alternatively never been before so if I'm just riding local trails or anything like that I tend not to wear them next one up shorts in all honesty I got a deal on these shorts um, they're not good now I need a new pair and I'm just just haven't sort of bought any new ones but uh, Scott shorts I don't know I don't know the make of them they were basically 12 quid I got them for. Um, the meant to be RRP was like 70 quid and I got them for 12 quid. So just one a def. Nice, lightweight, comfortable, that's all you need. Just a comfortable riding jersey. So obviously they're quite cheap. I've got quite a few of them, but just literally so uncomfortable that you can wear, you can wear a normal t-shirt if you want. It literally makes no difference. That's pretty much all I wear on my top. Um, this one as well is showing signs of a few crashes. Gloves, I take the same approach to gloves as kind of I do with knee pads. So sometimes I wear them, sometimes I don't. It depends on several different factors. So again, likelihood, am I gonna fall? Do I know the place well? So if so, if I know it, I'll probably not wear gloves. If, I, if it's like a new place to ride or I'm not that familiar with it, then I'll wear gloves. Um, also weather dependent as well. So if it's a hot day, I'll wear gloves to get rid of the sweat. If it's a cold day, I'll wear gloves to keep my hands a bit warmer. If it's like a, just a normal mild day, I'll just probably not wear gloves. 
And actually, I do that sometimes with my knee pads as well. So if it's like minging in the middle of winter and it's a proper slop fest going on, I'll wear knee pads just to lessen the amount of dirt that I get on us. And then finally, helmet. So again, just chosen for, for comfort. Helmets are funny things because one manufacturer's helmet may be really uncomfortable for your head compared with another manufacturer's helmet. So they're all slightly different shapes and things like that, particularly like within motorbike helmets. But mountain biking ones aren't as exaggerated, but it, I would always say it's always worth trying a helmet on before you buy it, just to make sure that it is the right shape for your head. Because otherwise it's gonna give you like pressure points and give you like headaches when you're riding the bike basically. So just something that's nice, comfortable, fits your head. And again, as soon as you put it on, you should put it on and then maybe 20 seconds later, just not be that aware that you're wearing it. Um, and that's kind of what I look for in all of the, the equipment that I wear. So uh, 661, I think it's a recon. Don't even know. And then, then so now downhill. So a lot of the stuff I can carry over from one to the other. So for example, shoes, exactly the same shoes, no difference. Um, I actually, for contact point, I actually have the same grips and the same pedals on both my bikes as well. So that, that when I'm holding it, it all feels exactly the same. So there's no like, I mean, yeah, there's a slight difference in sort of body position, but the actual contact points with a bike are exactly the same. I've got the same shoes, the same pedals, the same grips. Uh, which makes everything sort of nice and comfortable for when I get on. Um, again, starting from the bottom. So shoes, yeah. Shorts this time. So these are a lot thicker than the other ones. Um, basically downhill specific. A lot heavier, a lot thicker, a lot more protection going on. Although they still have fairly minimal protection. I think there's some of them you get like optional hip pads and things. But for, for me personally, that's too much. So just that. Um, if I was... Going to buy shorts in the future, I would only ever buy black ones because you end up, even when they're clean, you end up with that going on on your ass. So, something to think about. Probably why all my stuff is black because if you go for other colours, you end up getting dirt splatters on them and everything like that. And it's impossible to get it off. So, straight away, even if it's like the second, third time you're wearing it, you've still got like stains and things on it, which I've never figured out how to get out. So, that's like always black it's easier top wise so firstly we've got my body armor basically skin tight it's got the d3o padding in the elbows and the shoulders and down the spine um, it's removable as well so for example if you don't want any in your forearms you can just take it out and leave it but this is basically what the, the pattern looks like and again so nice and flexible but again as soon as you have an impact it hardens up and absorbs the impact and then goes straight back to normal so um this is basically the first body armor that i've worn i used to have a 661 pressure suit and i couldn't ride with it on it was so like restricted and uncomfortable that all i was thinking about when i was riding the bike was how restricted and uncomfortable i felt so in the end up i just basically sacked it off and just started wearing nothing to ride downhill which I mean if you're doing it there's like a part-time thing then you should probably protect yourself if you're relying on other jobs I think it's maybe called the grenade 2 this one I can't remember the name of it but nice and tight now another advantage of this is the zip goes all the way down the front so you get other ones that are, you pull over your head and basically once you've had a day's riding and you're all sweaty and stuff like that after riding it's really hard to get them off so this is just a zip down and just pull it off like a coat just nice and straightforward um, super comfortable once it's been on so I put it on I'm aware of it as soon as I get on the bike I'm not aware of it anymore so perfect fit perfectly comfortable gloves back to the gloves I just use the same gloves just cross over between gloves I've got about eight pairs of gloves some pairs last me one ride some pairs last me a few years but just always always wear gloves when I'm riding downhill missed out knee pads the knee pads I use are slightly different so I use the POC VPD2 so again I think these have got the D3 stuff in as well but these are a lot stiffer and a lot less flexible than the 661s six, six that I use for enduro slash cross country but I'm riding downhill 
I'm getting uplift. So there's no need to pedal other than the first couple of pedal strokes and that's not enough to bother you. If you're pedaling like all day up a massive hill and things like that, then these would probably be too much. But literally just for descents and for uplifts, they're, they're absolutely spot on. Super comfortable. Um, stick in the same place all day long. Don't have to bother adjusting them or anything like that. Helmet, obviously full face. I went with this Troy Lee, Troy Lee Designs one. Um, fits perfect really comfortable really snug you'll have to excuse the color this was 50 quid cheaper than another color and um, so i went for price over looking cool on the hill obviously if i fall in the bushes i'll never be lost but i would personally prefer like a darker color but like i said i couldn't the price was so much better than the, the other colors that i'd rather have the money in my bank account if i'm being honest so this is it, removable cheek inserts in case I do have a big crash, just means I can get the helmet off easier, so any neck injuries or anything like that. And that's the um, that's the downhill helmet, so. And again, once I put it on, it's it's kind of there and I'm aware of it, but it's not, it's not feeling like it's impeding me or anything like that. Goggles, goggles to go with the helmet. Weather dependent, again, if it's like a super sloppy day, Sometimes it's like it's too much to wear goggles. They'll steam up. They'll get covered in crap. They're like you just end up like it's better off just to get mud in your eye. Um, tend to have clear lenses. Sometimes I go for coloured lenses, but depend upon what time of the day you're riding, it can get really difficult, especially if you're in a forest because you can get like light flicker through the trees and things like that. And if you're wearing like tinted ones, you can't. It restricts like what you can see. So really, if you're going to get anything, you either need clear or you need ones that brighten like the surroundings um but yeah just a straightforward pair of goggles i think these were 20 quid i've had them for years i've changed the lenses a few times if you go for like a, a main make they'll carry on making the lenses for years so you're not sort of having to buy a whole new pair of goggles when you just need the lenses replaced elastic starting to go probably gonna have to replace them soon and that's that so i thought it'd be interesting just to give you a run through of the kit i wear sort of the reasons behind it my thought process is basically everything's got to meet a minimum safety standard so once you get past that minimum safety standard you can't really tell how hard they actually try um to to sort of surpass that so i'm always balancing sort of safety comfort and value for money at the same time so not always always the best kit but the best kit that works for me when i'm buying it if you know what i mean and that's it for today's video so see you later